So there was a while back when I mentioned to you guys that I was going to do a matrix inversion where I was going to actually use the matrix against itself so that it could evolve consciously. It's really the only way. Um, In order to expand a system, you have to infiltrate it from the inside out. So that's what you've been witnessing on my YouTube channel. A lot of you have probably wondered, wow, she is posting things that are very (laughs) matrixy. And yes, I am acting as somewhat as a ambassador or bridge, if you will, towards the higher realms. An aspect of me comes from the lower 3D matrix. I mean, I grew up playing video games and I feel like it was one of my biggest blessings because I was able to access a lot of keys that I can now use on the outside. So that's what I wanted to speak to you guys about today. Um, It's something that I've had an epiphany about recently. I really had an opportunity to zoom out on my own experience. had something to do with my meeting of an individual who reminded me a lot of the beings that I connected with in my past. And he sort of shined a light on something that allowed me to expand. And it was the notion of all being one, something I thought I knew, but constantly needing reminding, obviously. But more than this, it was the concept of religion being a base, regardless of what it is. It's almost like a way of doing mathematics. No matter what way you do mathematics, it's always going to be the baseline of math. So when we talk in terms of God and the creator and all that is, religion is just a part of that. It's a foundation that we can set for ourselves that's already, you know, basically a container for our lives. So when he told me some of his ideas and belief systems, I automatically thought to myself, okay, well, this guy's a Satanist. And I sat with him and continued to understand him and passed through some blockages, some mental barriers that was keeping me frustrated with these belief systems. I realized that what he was aligning with had nothing to do with the fact that we were one. I allowed this individual to be as he was, even though he was portraying the one thing that my spirit seems to want to fight against in this lifetime. You see, this world really truly is founded in Satanism. And for some reason, my spirit is now saying that that's okay. That is the simulation. That's the game. Like I was saying, you know, that is the type of mathematics. That's the calculus of this galaxy. On some level, as a higher conscious being, our oversoul knew the workings and the rules of this game. My soul has told me that this is not my first rodeo. You know, there have been other lifetimes where I've gone into an oath. It's up to us to learn how to evolve into our own sovereignty. We'll find that our gifts, our God-given blessings, are naturally sovereign. In this world, we can create a life for ourselves out of those blessings that cannot be tainted by the workings of this game. So I decided to do something different in this lifetime. I for sure wanted to go that route. Trust me, it's the best music, the best food, the best entertainment. You know, it's drugs, sex, and rock and roll. 
And that was the old me not knowing that I had the power to simulate my own reality. So when we get out of this, like, thinking that we're victims to this new world order, you know, this uh, satanic agenda that's taking over the, the prison planet, we can step back and allow ourselves to really truly see our gift, our power of co-creating what we want. The universe is like, well... Satanism is kind of like a baby simulation. We're going to handle you. We're going to give you a little handler. And we're going to show you what to do. We're going to give you everything. We're not going to let you go outside the crib. You are going to be controlled like a child. But when we expand our consciousness, when we witness the fact that we are God, we totally co-created it. So we can uncocreate it. And a lot of us are doing that. I'm speaking on this because it is imperative. This simulation that has ran the planet for so long now is prohibiting souls from going to the next level of their conscious evolution. So there is somewhat of a trap occurring and me, as a person that's been able to go outside of the matrix, I've allowed myself to witness other realms, other dimensions, and I've been able to allow myself keys to access light ships. Now, regardless if you believe in that or not, wouldn't you like to know? If someone was like, hey, there may or may not be your dream car outside and I have the keys wouldn't you like to know if you could go drive that or not Satanism comes in and is like yeah I have these keys and I know it's your dream car but I don't really want you going anywhere so to make sure that I can control you I'm gonna put a boot on it a lot of our own programming conditioning it's all being projected outward so if we reel that in and we see that, okay, we're in control here in a lot of ways, especially in the ways that we react to this simulation. That's when we get the keys. The biggest thing we want to focus on is taking our power back. What are those energy drains in your life? What takes you away from your number one goal? Empowering exciting thing that you want to create they wanted us to get fearful and all wrapped up into their game so what I did was I took a step back and I started to take that power back for myself everything that they're trying to tell me I was going to tell myself you know for an example the color red is for evil no the color red is for life I realized that whatever I wanted it to be, it was going to be. Just like that car waiting outside. But I was the one that had to have, you know, the cojones to be able to grab the bull by the horns and take those keys and run. 